Hello everyone, this is our crochet tutorial for our potted flower series. There are a total of 6 products in our series. Our roses here. Just the different color combinations, the production methods are all the same. You can see our The part of the flower pot and the method of making our flower soil are the same. Next, I will use one to demonstrate to everyone. For other styles, we will refer to this one for crochet, flower pots and soil parts. The leaf part of our flowers here. Our peach blossom style is different from. Our tulip leaves are crocheted differently. We will demonstrate to everyone separately, residual. The remaining four leaves are all made using the same method. What's next? Next, we will demonstrate to everyone separately. First, let's take out our light brown wool. Let's crochet the bottom of the flower pot and we, the main part of the base. Here, we need circular needle insertion. First, let's teach everyone how to get our thread first. We need to adjust the position of the thread head here. Hold it with our right hand. Next, place the line above the palm position here. From the position of the little finger, rotate around the little finger. And then from R, place the middle of the middle and the index fingers towards the back of the hand. Next, from above our index finger, bring the thread over. Use your middle finger and thumb to pinch our thread end. This is our method of holding the thread. What about our crochet here? All you need to do is hold the pen in a posture. First of all, we need to start the needle in a circular shape. We need to remove the thread first. We first need to turn the line into a circle. We need to take out our fingers, wrap the line two times in the direction below the finger. One circle, two circles. As you can see in a circle, we have a total of three coils on our fingers. We pinch three with our hands. Remove the coil from the finger at the overlapping position of the coil. Hold it with your hands and don't loosen it. Next, let's proceed with the thread picking method just now. Wrap around here from below the little finger. The area between the index and the middle fingers from hold it towards the arm position. Then turn from above the index finger to the front. Using the middle finger and thumb, Use your middle finger and pinch the overlapping position of just the three coils. Next, our crochet. Afterwards, it will be in this big hole in the rear to perform crochet weaving. Next, let's return the six short needles. We need to thread the crochet through this big hole. Place the crochet under the three threads. Crochet stitching. Hook needle position facing downwards. Bring the wire from the large coil behind us. Place the crochet position upwards again. This way our coil won't loosen. Here our crochet is on this thread. Above, we need to move from top to bottom. Thread the crochet back onto this thread. The needle position is facing downwards, which makes it convenient for us to take the thread. We need to bring the front coil over from the rear coil. Can you tighten it appropriately? Needle tip position facing up. This way our wires won't loosen. This is our locking pin. We are going to crochet a standing needle. That's our braid needle. Crochet line from top to bottom. Slowly fold the thread with the needle position facing downwards. Next, use the needle position of our crochet needle. Bring this wire from the rear coil. Stand up needle completed. What about the two stitches we just crocheted? Not even a single shot. Next, let's come back. Formally crochet our little short needles. We will thread the crochet through this large hole. Hook the needle under the three threads. Bring the wire from the coil. The needle position is facing upwards and there are two coils on the hook needle. The crochet is above this thread. Wrap the wire from top to bottom. Thread the front coil through the rear two coils. The corresponding V-shaped needle mesh below. That's our first shot. Everyone can take a look. There are two wires below us here. V-shaped composition is the first stitch in our lap. We need to take out the mark buckle and mark it above. We pass below two lines. Mark with a marker button. Use the marker button on this is the first stitch in our circle. Next, we will thread the crochet back into the coil we just had. 
Take the thread. Take the coil from the hook needle. Use our index finger to bring it up. The coil will shrink. Reduce to normal crochet length. Then we threaded the crochet through the coil again. Hook the thread below all the threads to bring them over. There are two coils on the crochet needle. Continue winding the crochet above the line. Thread the front coil through both coils. Second short stitch completed. We need to crochet a total of little stitches using the same method. Hook the needle through the large hole and tie the thread to bring it over. Wrap the crochet thread from top to bottom above the thread. Take the front coil out of the rear two coils. Third short stitch completed. Winding through the rear two coils. Fourth stitch. Everyone can take a look below us. This V-shaped braid. It means one short. It means one, two, three, and four stitches. Continue to crochet downwards. After six stitches and six stitches are hooked, we need to remove this coil from the crochet. Make it bigger. This way, we can prevent our wires from loosening and falling off. Next, we need to go to the position of the last stitch, also marked with our slim waist buckle. Everyone can take a look. We are located below the two V-shaped lines. Here. Thread the rubber buckle over. Mark it. So, counting from the first stitch position, we have crocheted a total of little stitches. Next, we need to convert this fabric join into a circle. We need to hold the first stitch of the rubber buckle with our hands. We will take the first stitch to the upper position. You can see below the first stitch, there will be three wires here. One is that there are two corresponding lines below our thread head. We need to be gentle here. Go pull our thread. Take a look at the two wires below. Which one has obvious activity? Be careful not to pull too hard here. We, after seeing which line has obvious activity, let's just stop. We can see that one of the wires is active. Afterwards, we need to pull this line of activity. As we approach, we need to buckle down here. Let's drag it. You can shrink the other line. After the angle reduction, we will get a large coil and a wire head. At this point, we just pull the thread. You can put this coil together. This is our extraction process. Our ring up process. Next, we will thread the crochet until we just in the raised large coil. We'll take the thread. Using your index finger to pick up the thread can shrink the coil. Next, we need to perform extraction with the first needle. We need to remove the first stitch of the glue buckle for it. Thread a crochet through the bottom of two lines. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. We need to hook and draw needles here. Note that we do not need to wrap the wire here. We directly place the coil in front of the crochet. Take it from the rear coil. Take it out directly. We can pull the crochet to the right. Tighten this coil. If everyone can pull the crochet here, we can go pull the thread down here. You can tighten the join needle. The join needle here must be tightened, so in the subsequent crochet process, it won't appear. Wrong needle phenomenon. After tightening the join needle, let's continue to crochet a standing needle, that is braid needles, above the crochet line. Bring the wire directly from the rear coil. You can take a look here. To be marked with a lock, it's the last stitch of our first lap. The one that continues to tighten is above our guide needle. This is our standing needle. Neither the pulling needle nor the standing needle is considered a single In stitch. the subsequent crochet process, each loop needs to be hooked and woven with these two stitches, and neither of these two stitches is considered a single stitch. We must not get mixed up. Next, we will shrink the coil and continue weaving the second loop. The second loop of crochet with six volts is our added needle. Adding needles means hooking two short needles in the same stitch. We will thread the crochet through the first one. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. There are two coils on the crochet needle. The crochet thread winds from top to bottom above the line. Bring the front coil directly from the rear coil. This is our short needle. 
after the first short stitch is hooked, place our adhesive buttons and label them in a timely manner. Mark, so we won't get confused, the pull and stand up needles that were just crocheted. Continue to add needles. Adding needles means hooking two short needles in the same stitch. That's when we thread the needle again in the same spot we just had. Hook another short needle. Hook the thread and bring it over. The crochet thread wins from top to bottom above the line, pass through the rear two coils. So we hooked two short needles in the same stitch. This is our injection. The remaining wool stitches in each of our needles. Both need to crochet two short needles. Crochet passes through the needle order. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. On the crochet line, the square wound wire passes through the rear two coils. One short stitch completed. Let's crochet another short needle from the same stitch. Continue to crochet downwards. Hook two short needles in each stitch. Thread the crochet through and tie the thread to bring it over. Winding through the rear two coils. A needle. Two needles. A needle. Two needles. I don't know when there's still the last coil left. We need to remove the glue buckle. A crochet also hooks two broken needles in this stitch order. After two short needles are hooked, we will stretch the coil on the crochet a bit larger. We need to mark the buckle on the last stitch as well. After the last stitch is hooked, we need to have a match with the first shot. Remove the mark buckle from the first stitch. The number of stitches marked by the hook passing through the marked buckle. Thread the needle through. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. We need to move the front coil directly through the rear coil. This is our joint needle. Let's pull the crochet to the right. You can shrink our needle size by pulling it out. After the needle insertion and extraction is completed, let's crochet another lock needle as the standing needle for the next round. Crochet direct. Wrap the line from top to bottom above the line. Bring the front coil over from the rear coil. Needle insertion and extraction completed. Stand up needle completed. Then we will continue to weave our third loop normally. The third circle is a short needle and an additional needle. Repeat crochet little times. Let's crochet a short needle first. Where on the first shot, the position marked with the buckle is about to be locked. Thread a needle. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. The crochet thread wins from top to bottom above the line. Take the front coil through the rear coil. First short stitch completed. Timely put on our marker buckle. Next stitch, we need to crochet and add stitches. Adding a needle means hooking two short needles in the same needle hole. We're on the second needle. A piercing needle hook weaving short needle. Hook and weave another short needle from one stitch. It's our extra needle. So our two stitches are hooked and woven into three stitches. We need to repeat the crochet process a total of little times for this group. A short needle. One additional needle. Continue with a short needle. One additional needle. A short needle. One additional needle. In the last group, we need to crochet a short needle. The last stitch is hooked and stitched, so our circle is crocheted correctly. Put our rubber buckle on the last stitch as well. After this loop of crochet is completed, there are a total of 18 stitches. You can count our needle numbers here, everyone. If it's 18 stitches, what we crochet is correct. What about us here? Just a V-shaped pattern like ours. How many are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Up to the last stitch, there were a total of 18 stitches, so what we crocheted in this loop is correct. Next, perform the same pull out and stand up as the first stitch. Every loop is essential. We will remove the adhesive buckle from the first stitch. Thread the crochet through the first stitch. 
Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. Twist and pull on the needle. Directly remove the front coil from the rear coil. Pull the crochet to the right once. Pulling needle tightening, then crochet another braid needle. As the standing needle for the next round, wrap the thread above the crochet line. Bring the front coil directly from the rear coil. Pull out needle and stand up needle completed. So our third lap has also been made. Continue to crochet the fourth loop. The fourth round is a short needle and an additional needle. A combination of short needles. Repeat crochet little times. Let's first thread the needle through the first stitch here. Crochet a short needle. After the short needle hook is fixed, mark our mark buckle in a timely manner. Continue to crochet A, add needle to the next needle. Then hook and weave a short needle for the next stitch order. So our three stitches have hooked four stitches. We need to repeat the crochet process a total of little times for this group. A short needle. One additional needle. A short needle. Such a group of repeated crocheting. Last group, we hook and weave a short needle for the remaining 3 stitches. One additional needle. The last stitch is to crochet a short stitch. So, what we crochet in this loop is correct. After this lap, there will be a total of 24 stitches. You can click on your own needle count, check if it's correct. What if it's not correct? We need to remove it and re-crochet it. Same as mark buckle lock. Rest at the first stitch position marked. Bring the line over with the main line. Take the front coil directly through the rear coil. Move the crochet to the right once. Tighten our join needle. Then hook and weave another standing needle. So our fourth lap is ready. Next, let's crochet the fifth loop. In the fifth loop, we need to crochet the inner half needle. Crochet 24 short needles. The inner half needle is a segment that is far away from us. Half needle means we just need to pick. Have a line inside. A needle order here. It is composed of a V character. It's made up of two wires. Ours. We need to crochet the upper half of our thread with the inner half needle. Just pick half a thread to thread the crochet through. So, we hook and weave normal short needles. Hook the needle and tie the thread to bring it over, winding through the rear two coils. After the short needle is completed, we need to try to fasten it as much as possible. The next round, we need hook and weave a short needle on each corresponding stitch. That's fine. Pay attention, we're going straight ahead. Have a line inside. Let's pick up from the middle of the V-shaped shape. It's picking half the line above us. Crochet short needle. Half line. We will take off the mark buckle for the last stitch. Thread the same half thread with half the needle inside. Crochet a short needle. We marked the buckle on the last stitch. Same as the first needle for join. Where are we going to lead? 
It is a complete needle that draws us. The first stitch where the crochet passes through the corresponding circle, hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. Directly pass the front coil through the rear coil. Tighten the rear coil. Then crochet another braid needle. As the standing needle for the next round, the crochet directly wins through the rear coil. So, what about our flower pots? The first circle of the main body is already made. Below is our flower base section. What's next? Let's do two ba. We need to crochet 24 short needles without adding or subtracting them. Next, we need to add the remaining two lines. Hook and weave a short stitch on each stitch in each loop. No other needle technique. We need to hook a short needle for each needle mesh. When we reach the last stitch on the sixth slab, we need to remove the mark buckle. We hooked the short needle on the last stitch. Timely put on our marker buckle. What's next? We also need to crochet, draw, and stand up needles. Next, the seventh and eighth laps. We will use the same method. Just hook and weave short stitches on each loop without adding or subtracting them. I won't repeat the demonstration for everyone. Continue to crochet down for two more laps. Here, my number. The seventh and eighth laps are already hooked up. Next, let's crochet the ninth loop. Here in the ninth circle, we need to crochet 24 long needles. Just now, our stand-up needle has been hooked up. A braid needle. Here we need to crochet another braid needle. Hook and weave two braid needles in total. Standing needle as a long needle. Next, let's teach everyone how to crochet long needle. When crocheting with long needles, we need to first place the crochet on the line from top to bottom. Round. After winding the wire, we will thread the needle into the corresponding first needle hole. Below the crochet line, thread the crochet over the line. Needle position facing down, we will take this thread off the crochet from the back. Bring it to him from the coil. Hook position facing up. So our crochet will have three coils on it. Wrap the thread above the crochet line. Let's first pass through the two coils ahead. Take the crochet out. Two remaining coils on the crochet. Continue winding through the two coils in the rear in sequence. So, with just one long stitch, we can hook it up. The same corresponding needle in the rear. It's the first stitch in our lap. We need to put a marker buckle on it. Everyone must put on the marker buckle here. Avoid confusion with the two standing pins below us. We'll mark him. The two below are our standing needles, not our corresponding needle. The needle here above is ours. The first stitch of this circle. Continue to crochet downwards. Let's wrap the long needle around the thread first. Then we will start from passing through the needle's eye. Pull the wire to pull it out. The winding first passes through the two coils in front. Take the crochet out. Rewind the wire through the rear two coils. Second long stitch completed. Next, we will use the same method. We keep crocheting downwards until the end of this lap. Thread the thread, thread the needle, hook the needle and tie the thread to bring it over. The winding first passes through the two coils in front. Take the crochet out. Rewind the wire and pass through the two behind it. Long needle completion.
That's it, we've already hooked up the last stitch. We can remove the first stitch of the adhesive buckle. Next, let's continue weaving the tenth loop. Please pay attention to the joints in the tenth circle. What we want to crochet is the outer half needle. Crochet 24 long needles. Long needle here, standing needle, we need to start another one. Two braid pins in total. Next, we hook long needles, but be careful here. We only crochet on the outer half of the needle. Here's to tell everyone, where is our outer half needle? You can bring our fabric up here. Every needle we have, there will always be a V-shaped shape here. There are two lines in total. Close to our interior is our inner half needle. Leaning against the outside, near the outside, here is our outer half needle. What about our next crochet? Just a pick. Use this half thread of the outer half needle for crocheting. Have a line here. At the bottom of our flower pot just now, here we crochet the inner half needle. Here we need to crochet the outer half needle, that's the half line near the outside. Let's proceed with crochet weaving. Before crocheting with the same long needle, we need to wrap the thread first. Then we weave this half thread on the outside. Thread the crochet through. Take the wire out by connecting it. The winding first passes through the two coils in front. Rewind the wire through the rear two coils. Place a marking buckle on the corresponding needle hole and mark it. And then we will. Using the same method, go pick the outer half of the line to proceed. Crochet of long needles. Crochet until the end of this loop. After we crochet to the end, we can simply stand up. The thread on the needle is slightly elongated. We use scissors to cut. This thread can be reserved slightly longer, convenient for us to use later. Our sewing needles are used to hide the thread ends. Pull out the line directly. Tighten our thread. This way, you can take it down. Next, we need to crochet the final loop. 外半针的这一圈长针给它翻下来。Like this. Here we go. Our flower pot is not yet fully crocheted and finished. On the outer half of the needle here at the bottom of us, we need to crochet another loop of join needles. Here we also need to take out our wool. We will directly position the thread end here. Wrap around the fingers. Take care of the position of the needle here. Don't start from the position of our last node here. We can. 
next to this place for needle threading. The same thread can be reserved longer, convenient for us to use for hidden thread in the future. We will wire directly, place it next to our potted plants. Fix it by hand. The crochet is wound directly below the thread. Bring the front coil over from the rear coil. We still need to fix our hands in this place. Then we will directly thread the crochet through the next half stitch. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. Directly remove the front coil from the rear coil. This is our join needle. Let me demonstrate to you again. Thread the needle at the next needle point. Hook the thread below the thread to bring it over. Directly crochet. Take the front coil out of the rear coil. Needle insertion and extraction completed. We hooked up to. The connection here is to empty it out. We'll just pick. Have stitch for the next stitch. Crochet hook. Winding. Bring the front coil directly from the rear coil. We use this method too. The lower circle is all hooked up with the pulling needle. Just throw the crochet thread directly from the back. When the crochet overlaps with the first stitch here, we also need to crochet. Pick a complete needle for him. Crochet join needle. Tighten and crochet a standing needle to elongate the thread. This stitch is used for fixation. Cut the line as well. Next, we need to remove the suture needle. Take our three thread ends here. Do a hidden thread. The thread between us doesn't need to be cut. We can just put it directly in the potted plant, then stuff it with cotton and sew it up. The soil above us is invisible. We just need to handle it here. The three thread ends here, and then what? We need to remove the suture needles prepared for everyone. We need to thread the thread into our sewing needle. Threading our thread into the suture, we can thread the needle through us in the line segment of the hook woven coil above. Contact the hidden thread. Here, after a few stitches of weaving, we will directly extract the needle outward. Cut the thread and position directly with scissors. Next, continue with the remaining thread ends. Everyone uses the same method to hide line, that will do.
That's it, our flower pot is ready. We need to put it aside. Next, our flowers. The part of soil. Here, everyone just needs to refer to our flower pots. Just crochet from the first to the fourth lap. Just here, we need to pay attention. Replace it with us. The color lines corresponding to the flower soil are used for crocheting. Here is the soil part at the bottom of our flower pot. After the crochet reaches our fourth lap, the thread above us need to reserve a bit longer for us to sew above our flower pot here. We'll leave it slightly longer. Then directly pull out the wire. Tighten the position of the thread head to it. The thread ends here below. We can also avoid trimming it. Afterwards, it will be hidden at the bottom of our flower pot. I won't see it. The outermost line uses to sew the connection between our flower pot and the soil. Here are our two accessories. After crocheting, what about? We need to put it aside first. Let's continue to observe our method of making flowers.